getting ready for the busy lunch crowd. Mosa Ghazayel's bakery in South Tehran makes over 1,000 traditional toftun, or flatbreads, a day. It's hard work, but business is good, and he can employ three people. But on Friday, this bakery will be closed. Everyone here will be voting in the parliamentary election. We have to vote. It's our duty to vote for our country. We have to defeat our enemies. But not everyone in this neighborhood is doing well. Until January of last year, flour was subsidized, a popular policy in Iran for years. But the government could not afford it, so the subsidies were cut and prices went up. These people now pay three times more for their daily bread. There isn't much campaigning going on here, but this area has consistently one of the highest voter turnout in Tehran. Here in the south of the city, people are deeply religious and conservative. This is the heartland for the supporters of the Supreme Leader, and it is here that many believe voting is their absolute responsibility. But it's not just religious conviction that's sending these people to the polls. Mohammed Hassan has run this electric shop for 40 years. For him, a flawed democracy is better than no democracy at all. Based on the history of our revolution, I think everyone must, in any way, they can go to the ballot boxes and cast a vote. And vote for any candidate or vote for no one at all. But going to the ballot boxes is 100% every Iranian duty. And the Iranian leadership says it's important for people to vote. And it hopes duty, religion and politics will compel voters to turn out on Friday. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.